In this video I'm going to show you how to create this blueprint effect using Photoshop and we will do it non-destructively so you can modify everything afterwards including pictures, text, background, patterns and whatnot. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys Drool here and as you can see this is the final output. So to create this first of all let's create the new document. So I'm going to go to file, new. And in the size, I'm going to use 1920 by 1080 pixels and the resolution is 72. So create it. Now double click on your background, unlock it. Now first we need to create the background and for that I'm going to use a gradient. So right click on your layer 0 and select blending options. And here go and select gradient overlay. In the gradient, as you can see, uh, let me show you my color codes so you can copy it exactly. So the first on the lighter side, I'm using 004892. Hit OK and in the darker side, I'm gonna go and use 01288C. Basically try to keep it deep bluish, okay? So these are the codes and in the style, obviously I'm using radial and the angle is 149 and the size is 105. Then go and hit OK. Now we need to create the grid for the background and for that we need to create a new document. So I'm gonna go to File, New and this time create a document that is square 60 by 60 pixel and the resolution is same 72 then go and create it it's really tiny so you can use ctrl plus to zoom in so let's zoom in a little bit after that double click on your background and unlock it then go and select your rectangular marquee tool from here and make selection of entire document and then press delete key so we have this transparent background now make sure your selection is still active after that right click here and select stroke and for this options make sure in tools you still have your selection tool active so right click here and select stroke in the stroke size is 2 pixel and the color is completely white and the location is inside then hit ok now we need to remove the selection so for that go to select and deselect so the pattern is ready and now we can save it so for that go to edit and here go and select define pattern and name it anything so let's name it uh, blueprint pattern for tut okay then go and hit okay the pattern is saved you can go and close it now if you want so let's close it now we have to apply the pattern and for that go and create a new blank layer from here and the pattern we need to fill in black color so select your paint bucket right click paint bucket tool and in the color here make sure it is absolutely black and fill it now we need to make it smaller from the all sides so for that press ctrl t hold your alt and shift key both and then drag it from a corner like this and after that you can again hold your alt key and stretch it from one single side if you want so uh, this looks fine then go and confirm it now we need to apply the pattern on top of it so right click here uh, go to blending options and here first of all i'm gonna go and select pattern overlay and in the pattern Let's go and find the pattern that we just saved. So here it is, blueprint pattern for tutorial. And in the opacity, keep it somewhere around like 20% and the scale is 50 to 60% should be good, but it depends on your document size. So I'm gonna go and keep it, let's say 55. And after that, we also need to apply a stroke for the outline. So I'm gonna go and select stroke. The size is three pixel. The position is inside and the opacity is 80% then go and hit ok now to get rid of this black color go to your layer blending option here and then select screen so the black color is gone and we only have the pattern and the stroke uh, you can also add secondary stroke for the outline and for that make copy of your layer 1 so simply press ctrl j so we have a copy then press ctrl t and again hold your alt and shift key and make it smaller from the both side and then uh, only hold your alt key and then stretch it from the side until you get it exactly the way you want looks good then go and confirm it now as you can see we have patterns overlapping each other so to remove that just double click on the effect here on layer 1 copy and turn off your pattern overlay and simply hit ok so now we have this really neat base ready and we can add in the object so for that i'm gonna go to file and then go to place embedded and here go and select any object that you want to turn into blueprint so i'm going to go and select this pirate ship uh, and place it i'm going to make it a bit smaller so i'm going to hold my shift key and drag it from a corner so i think this looks fine okay and then confirm it 
Now make sure the object is on top of everything and after that right click here and select convert to smart object. Then go to filter and then here go to stylize and select fine edges. After that in the blending options go and turn it to screen. Then go to your adjustment layer here and select a solid color and in the solid go and select absolutely white color. Hit OK. After then right click on your solid color and select create clipping mask so the white color will only show up on the ship. Then in the blending option of solid go here and change it to exclusion. So we have this really neat blueprint effect but we need to do some changes. So for that go to your adjustment layer and first select levels. In the levels again turn on the clipping mask so whatever changes you do will stay on the ship. So first of all increase your mid a little bit and push the blacks a bit more so we have really solid contrast and you can also push the highlights to make it more thicker uh, completely up to you so do some adjustment I think this looks good then go and close it now as you can see here we have this really crazy color artifact and to fix that it's actually really easy go to your adjustment layer and select black and white and in the black and white just turn on your clipping mask so it will only stay on the ship and close it so we don't have any color effects. So the blueprint effect is ready and all we have to do is add some text and for that I like to add some pointy lines first so it looks more professional. So select a brush tool and in the brush make sure the pixel size is only 2 pixel. Uh, so we have really sharp and thin line. So that is ready and then create a new blank layer. Uh, double click on the name and rename it to I don't know pointy lines. Now to create the lines first of all do a click then hold your shift key and do a click where you want to end the line so like this but the color is black so it's not visible very good so I'm gonna go and change it to white then again do a click hold your shift key and do a click and repeat it uh, as many times as you want to add text so do a click hold your shift key and do a click. The pointy lines are ready and now we can add in the text. So for that select your type tool and in the t uh, type phase I'm gonna use the standard one the Arial. Uh, do a click and type in whatever you wanna want. So let's type in pointy, uh, confirm it, select your move tool and move it aside a little bit. Now it's really big so press ctrl T, hold the shift key and make it smaller like this. Confirm it. And when you have your move tool, you can also use your arrow keys to keep it exactly where you want it. Now all you have to do is make bunch of copies of this word. So make sure your text layer is active, then press Ctrl J and select your move tool and move it like this here. Then to change the text, just double click on this T here and type anything you want. Then go and confirm it and this way you can add in as many text you want. So the info text is ready and now we have to add in the title. So for that I'm gonna use different font. So create a new blank layer, uh, select a type tool and in the font I'm gonna go and use the handwriting font that I downloaded. So here we have the handwriting draft. Select it and type in so let's type the blueprint effect so the entire effect is ready and now all we have to do is add some paper texture so for that go to file go and select place embedded and here I have this paper texture that you can download so go and place it Let's rotate it so hold your shift key and then rotate it from a corner so it snaps properly and after that hold your alt and shift key and drag it from the corner so it covers everything. Looks good, confirm it. Then go to your blending options here and select overlay. So the paper texture is everywhere but we can make it better. So for that right click on your paper texture and select duplicate layer and here in the document go and select new and then hit ok. After then go to your file menu and select save and name it anything so let's make it a displacement map disp map for ship. So then go and save it hit ok. Now we don't need it go and close it so back to the document. 
So first of all, we're gonna apply the displacement map on the ship. So activate your ship layer here, then go to your filter, distort, and here go and select displace. Uh, select stretch to fit, repeat edge pixel, and the size is 10 by 10. Then go and hit OK. Here, let's go and select it, the disk map for the ship. Open it. So now if I zoom in, and if I press Ctrl Z, as you can see, now the ship looks more like it's on paper. And to make it more effective, you can repeat the filter. So for that, just go to filter, displace, uh, hit OK. Select the file again, and open it. So it's more powerful and you can do the same with everything. So let's go and select the blueprint effect text here. And for that, right click on the text and select convert to smart object. And after that, go to filter, displace, everything same as uh, we did on the ship, then go and hit OK. Uh, select the disk map for ship, open it and you're good. And now repeat it a couple of times until it looks proper. So again, go to filter, displace, hit OK, select the file, open it and we're good and you can do the same on all the text but i'm not gonna do it right now to save some time uh, so for the final let's go and select the pattern and here don't turn it into smart object otherwise you won't be able to modify your stroke or pattern or anything so here apply it directly so i'm gonna go to filter the start and here displays uh, 10 by 10 hit ok select the file open it so now if i zoom in as you can see the effect looks more realistic uh, same thing on the top side looks a bit more better and that's pretty much it this is the final output now if you want to change your text or your the main picture just simply activate the pirate ship here double click on this thumbnail here so it will open it in the different document right after then go to file and select place embedded and open the photo that you want to turn into blueprint so I'm gonna go and select let's say this ship uh, place it and then go and delete this uh, bottom shape so you only have this one here looks good after then go to file and select save so now when we go back to the document here the ship is updated and all you have to do is make it bigger so this way you can change it to any image you want and you can do the same with the text so as you can see the blueprint effect here if you double click on this box uh, your text is here, you can double click here and change it to anything. Confirm it, go to file, save and when you come back on your document, it's changed. So that's it and this is the final output and the best thing about this process is that you can uh, modify anything anytime you want. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if it did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, ask me in comment section below. If you wanna check out more videos by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also click on that subscribe button. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update. Plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.